Okay, y'all, on to part four of the Hallmark GFA scandal. This Christmas is definitely not under wraps. So as I told you, Candace Cameron Bure starred in a very high viewership movie called Christmas Under Wraps for 2014. Supposedly, it's Hallmark's most highest viewed movie ever. And when Mrs. X Chris Countdown to Christmas left, somebody in the writer's room had a brilliant idea to do a sequel to this very popular movie. And they decided to go knock on the door of Candace Cameron Bure's friend and co-star Jodie Sweetin from Full House slash Fuller House. They decide to make Jody the love interest that's going to go to Garland and fall in love with Andy, a.k.a. David O'Donnell. Now, I'm going to use the characters' names for the most part. So Jody plays Erica, and she works for this big-time real estate investor, Vivica A. Fox. Now, Hallmark, y'all are wrong for not pr promoting Miss Set It Off herself more. Vivica A. Fox is a very highly esteemed actress and beautiful she would have added more viewers to your viewership that probably never watch Hallmark had y'all promoted her more. So imagine my surprise when I open up, um, you know, I start to watch the movie and I see Vivica on my screen in the opening scenes. I'm like, what is really good? But if you notice this new cast of the, uh, a Cozy Christmas Inn, you see black folks. I don't remember even seeing black folks walk by in Garland, um, you know, in the first movie for Christmas Under Wraps, but yet yeah, I'm seeing sprinkles of black folks. Erica's best friend is a black woman. There's black couples in Garland. Like, it's crazy. Between Seattle and Garland, black folks are popping up everywhere. Okay, Hallmark, I see the diversity, okay? And one thing Hallmark lets you know is that Jody, aka Erica, Erica and Andy knew each other from Seattle before there was ever a Dr. Lauren Brunel, okay? They used to go together before Lauren brought her righty ass up to Garland and fell in love with Andy. They used to go together, but because Andy had to go back and inherit the family business at some point, he went back to Garland, Alaska and left poor Erica broken hearted. But one thing Hallmark lets you know is that Erica is the done daughter, not Lauren. Erica came before her. So as I told you guys, it's not believable that Dr. Lauren Brunel was going to stay in Garland with Andy forever. It just wasn't believable. They welcome her, but baby, they didn't open up the door like they did for Jody. And they let you know that um, Dr. Brunel is in San Francisco, took a fellowship, a surgical fellowship. She out. She doing what she's supposed to do. And then Jody came back to do what Candace couldn't do. Woo, this is some good shade. 